What's going on, everybody? It's your boy John from the Gamer Duo here. Got to get hyped for today's episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Lock. We have a Totem Battle today, so please stick with me because, oh my god, we're about to get walloped and messed up, and it's going to be a good episode. So, hope you guys are having a great day today. It is s Saturday, Sunday. Um, for me, it's not Sunday. For me, it's Wednesday. But for you guys, it's Sunday, May 3rd, 2020. Um... We just had a fantastic cage log, or uh, not cage log, uh, versus episode drop over on uh, my man Beagers channel. If you guys want to check it out, that'd be phenomenal. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Again, let's get into this. Totem, oh, do you think it's going to be legendary? I have a feeling it's going to be legendary. Like, honestly, there's no way that it's going to be easy. I hate saying it like that, but there's absolutely no way this is going to be an easy fight um magneton you know what i'm down with that oh no i'm not we have pop the leading um you know i don't really like magneton very much because aaron had it in cage lock luckily as you saw on thursday we defeated it but still huh like ah scared of i'm scared of magnemite like magnemite actually ruins my entire team comp composition like it's okay so it's funny because we have Two flying types, two fighting types, and two water types. So we literally have a flying fighting, uh, flying fighting water core, and it's like, it's a very weird core to have, um, because they're really, they don't, they don't really share a common weakness, which is great, but they don't cover each other very well either. So we definitely are in a world of hurt in either way, shape, or form. So, as you can see, it's still a very, very scary situation. Um, and, I don't know. Like, oh my god, another revive. We just got four revives in the last, like, five minutes. Um, but, yeah, it's very... Very one-dimensional, very one-sided, and it's like, uh, it's like, how are we gonna handle this? How is the? How is this gonna go? Cause this, again, as you guys know, this could be a three, a plus three everything. For it's gonna be forcefully evolved because we forcefully evolved the totems, but it literally could be one in a million different things and. I think that's what's scary. This thing has an air balloon. What a weird item to have. Um, but yeah, it could be one like one in a million things. And I'm like, ah. And there's so many combinations. Did you literally just live on one? You did. You butt munch. Of course you lived on one. Oh, great. You're going to call for help now, too. Um, you really are going to call for help. You're joking. It just called over a Tapu Lele. A support Tapu Lele. That's fantastic. Literally can't handle that. That's a psychic fairy. Oh, boy. A psychic and fairy type. How are we going to deal with that? Um, I guess Dizzy Punch is our best option. Dazzling Gleam? Oh, great. You have a great... You've got a great attacking move, too. That wasn't even a crit. That wasn't even a crit, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an issue. I don't know how we're going to handle that. Um, first off, I don't know who we're going to have in the lead of today's episode. because, Or in the the toad, or the, the battle. Um, okay, we got it. We we handled that effectively. Good. Good, 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 good. You hit yourself in confusion. I've been getting very good confusion luck lately, and I'm not I'm not upset about good confusion luck like that because it as good confusion luck has been like as a fantastic. So I don't know, like I said, I don't know who I'm gonna send in to lead this, the charge here. I almost wanna send in the Machamp. I think my daddy the Machamp is gonna have the best option. I just realized I didn't do a team recap, but that's okay. Um He's going to be our best option, I believe. The only issue is he's only got... He's got only two fighting moves. So, 
He doesn't have t variety in his moveset like Papa does. But here's another issue. Papa... Papa doesn't have any at all. It doesn't have any bulk. And so it's like, do I trust the bulk or do I trust diversity in the moveset? Because I don't think I'm one-shotting. There's absolutely no way I'm one-shotting something. Also, I think you guys, I'm going to draw attention to it, whatever. You guys see the rare candies. I don't really care if you see the rare candies. I I know I lose IVs by doing this, so it actually makes the challenge harder, and that's part of the reason why. One, I'm too lazy to grind, and two, it makes the challenge harder. I, I put rare candies in my game um, so that I can just, you know, easy, cause easy quick grind so I can make the best content for you guys 24-7. Anyway, what do I trust? I'm trusting Machab. No. Wait, I've got a mixture of that. I do. I have a mixture of that right there. Zayden. Can Zayden be my effective totem killer? That would be fantastic if Zayden can be my effective totem killer. Because he's on par. He, he seems like a great option. We're doing it. We're doing it. He seems like a great option for this. And then after the totem, we're going to get some encounters because we got one, two, three, four, five. Five different encounters that we can get right now, I think, that we haven't gotten before. So, totem and encounters in one episode. And it's up. I am so... Oh, fuck. I am screwed. I am so screwed. I am so screwed. I am so screwed. You are level 22. Why did I think you were not? I thought you were level 24. Um, I didn't need to grind, apparently. Plus two speed. The one thing that we didn't need no Lego to have. What sucks is we're totally a water ground type, right? Oh, it's raining. Oh, we don't have Swift Swim. Normally, we have Swift Swim. Crap, and you got plus two speed. I'm going to Waterfall, because it does not have defenses at all. So we sh we could Oko this before it gets... Thank you. You just neutralized your speed. Oh, all of mine were removed. Hopefully, this Oko's. Let's go! Oh, that's so relieving. That's actually hecka relieving. I am... <laughs> Shout out to my boy, Symbiotic Troll. And the reason why I say this is because in Pokemon Challenge version, I had to change a specific trainer because this trainer was not okay to have be as a trainer anymore because I made the game in 2017. And you can already tell where that's going. So, Symbiotic Troll, the man who's going to be in the iCard right there, his team has a Nihilego that's choice scarfed with the moves Dazzling Gleam, Sludge Bomb, Power Gem, and Thunderbolt. I have been messing around with this Mon on the ladder. So it was just a very big coincidence that that is who we got as our encounter. Because I I know it's complete stat distribution. Oh my god! But I'm also so happy that I have water types because, or like a physical water type, the best physical water type in the game. That makes me so proud. I'm just like, thank you, troll. Oh my god! Like, whew, that takes a big weight off my shoulders because that's one of the two in this island that we have to worry about. Um, unfortunately, we do not have the Charizard, though. And actually... 
You know what I should do, right? I should wait till we get the Charizard. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna wait till we get the Charizard. We're gonna get the two in, or the two encounters we can get here, and then we'll just we'll just go back and forth. Um. Oh, I should have said no. Oopsies. I remember when I told Culpa and Karai to say no to that, and they both did, and then I was the one that said yes. <laughs> History repeated itself. Um, that's okay. Oh my gosh, that's so relieving. Like, you don't know how much of a wait has just been just just lifted right off the shoulders. Oh. I am so happy. And we only have one death. It's like, I'm so, like, how do we only have one death right now? We are, I'm saving right now. I don't care. <laughs> like, one death? It's like, I'm playing on a whole other level, apparently. Now, I shouldn't be saying that yet because, well, uh, for obvious reasons. Because we're actually gonna put Fionn in the front. I think. Can we put Fionn in the front? Reef, Brian, Bounce, Aqua Jet, and Ominous Wind. I don't really trust that. I trust Jonas way more. Sorry, I like the dragging animation. I just I can't do the other one. <laughs> Let's see. So in Brooklyn Hill. I don't know. My brain was like, oh, yeah, we got Swift Swim. No, you don't. Like, you you literally... Yes, I know Mega Swamper gets it, but this... You don't. Okay. So, our encounter for Route 5 is a Snorlax. Another, that's a great Gen 1 Mon. I am not mad over that. I know I probably won't utilize it, but... It is still not a bad Mon to have. And actually, I just realized we have Seismic Toss. That's an amazing move. For what we're doing right now. Sketch. No. Does that mean you just got rid of... You just learned it. Well, that sucks. But that's okay. We, we, we handle that just fine. Um, I'm going to actually hit you again. With Seismic Toss. And then we'll continue... We'll start trying to catch it. Because... I feel like you have definitely have more than 22 HP. Um, there's no way you don't. Yeah, okay. Perfect. And then... We can go into our bag. And I'm going to Great Ball. We're going to use some Great Balls. Hopefully we catch this thing. Great Gen 1 Mon. And then we'll go to the Totem's Den and get our encounter in there. Um, we'll take it. Bit easy dubs. Easy dubs. I feel like we've not gotten... A really a terrible encounter like I don't know I just I, it doesn't hasn't occurred to me like if we've gotten a bad encounter yet like horsey is like think been the worst encounter and horsey's not even that bad I mean I guess Clefal, but like there's so many encounters in this game I'm gonna name this Andrew because I feel like Andrew was named after Snorlax and something just to be funny. Leaf Guard, and it did... Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, that's a trash moveset. Um, but that's fine. Now we go ahead, go to the Totem's Den. <sighs> very, very happy. If we would have been surfing, we would have gotten a... Ponyard. That's... Not bad. Bisharp is not a bad Pokemon. Not something to sleep on. Not something to sleep on at all. Oh, crap. We literally couldn't get away. We literally could not get away. That sucks. Um. Oh, now we've now we've been wrapped. So now we literally can't escape. 
Uh, low kick is my best move, and even if it's even though it's quad effective, it's gonna do absolutely nada to a Ponyard. Like nothing. Oh, an Oko. Okay, never mind. I thought it was gonna do way less than it did. Um. Okay. So, but knowing the encounter table had that mon, I'm not mad. Um. Like we definitely got the better of the two mons in Snorlax. Um. I I should probably put up a repel. You know what? That's a good idea. Oh no, it's not. It's actually a terrible idea if I'm going to, um, sorry, it's a terrible idea if I'm going to get an encounter anyway. Um, but yeah, no, that'll be a good place to end it after the encounter, because it'll be about a 20 minute episode, so it won't be, a, it won't be a short changed episode like last episode, like 18 minutes, like, oh my god, like, how is the real question? How did I make an 18 minute video? Like, that never happens on this, on this channel at all. Um, like, I was very, very surprised that I made it an 18-minute video. Um, because I'm like, do I fight the totem? And of course the totem was like, two minutes, but that's okay. Um, hello? Since when do ninjasks pose a threat? Since when are they? Since when have they been allowed to do that? I would like to um, get that question answered right now. Joey, can you answer that question for me? Dang, you predicted the switch, the wrong switch, my boy. Yeah, no. The reason why I'm asking, I have a meanie butt. Jesus, I literally asked Joey. I'm so rude. I'm so rude sometimes, but I'm not actually. It's just for the source of content. Um. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to explain why I said Joey and why I mentioned the fact that I brought Joey into that with Oblivion Wing because um, I think Joey will know. I think Joey will really know. And yikes. Like, <laughs> I love you, Joey, but like, I, I have to. I have to. I have to. I have to jab sometimes. Jabbing is fun. Um, I, you know what? If I give, then I shall receive. And we all know what that means. I want to hear some John jabs. That's what we're going to call it. John jabs. That sounds like a very good idea. That sounds like a fantastic idea, actually. Our encounter in the totem's den. Please be good. Please be a good encounter. Please tell me it was worth it. No more. You know what? That's not bad. A fire ground type. Generation 3. We'll take it. Four. Sure. Oh. Girder evolves at level 30. Or 30 or 37. Ooh, Bone Club. We we gotta name we gotta name it a specific name now. We have now that has Bone Club. No, I am saving that name for Aaron himself. Cause if I can get a Marowak, then Aaron will literally freak out and be very happy. And we want Aaron to be very happy because we do. We just want Aaron to be happy. Um Got it? Yep. Easy. Easy catches. Jeez. This game is not giving me any form of challenge. It's been very interesting, um, to say the least. And we're going to name this. Wolfric. Because why not name it Wolfric? Very counter... No, uh, counter, or ironically, because, you know, might as well. Uh, Wolfric summary, we have Sticky Hold and the Pikachuium Z. Why are we getting so many Z crystals? Like, I feel like it's going to break the game at some point. It's like, oh, no, 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 we're not adding this to the team. Let's go into the box. Other mods that we could have gotten in here included Fletchender. 
Ironic that in the water there was two freaking grass or um not grass types, two fire types. Oh yeah, we are gonna get out of this water. Oh, we can't get away. Uh oh. Let's not die. Uh, but yeah, it's funny that we can't get away. Again. But yeah, we're going to end the episode off after we get out of the water. Another kind of shorter episode, but that's okay. Because it gives you um, a fun time. We get to take on Solaria and have some fun in the next episode. Like, I am very happy with the... Oh, God. I'm very happy with the way that I'm doing this series. Like, it's a lot... I, th I feel like it's better. Um, yeah, will there be more parts? Oh, and indubitably. But it still gives you guys more. Like, the same amount to watch in a shorter in shorter stance, you know? Anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I love you all. We're going to take on Solaria, y'all. So that's going to be scary as all heck. Peace out, guys. That's the wrong button.